Okay, good day. Uh, today I'm doing a video on a W204 M271 Mercedes Benz. Now, this vehicle has a lovely design floor where if you don't do these services properly, your teeth on your gear actually strip off, causing you uh, failure and knocking valves. Uh, that's what happened in this case. So, I was busy working on this one. I started doing the pull assembly and I had really a lot of trouble finding information on these so i figured i'll just do a short quick video on how to uh, assemble these uh, cam gear pulleys on the inside okay so you've got your intake you've got your exhaust the difference how you know between the two is your intake side there has a little hole that uh, this one goes into now this is supposed to be connected to another part but the guy that disassembled it actually broke this off so that's why i'm doing the job now the other guy kind of couldn't do it properly Anyway, um, so then this thing basically goes in there in such a manner. It's in there, but this thing is part of the other part. Right, and then your exhaust, the reason I'm showing that is your exhaust does not have that, it's blocked off. So this, this you know, this is your exhaust camshaft, this is your inter camshaft. Now, your cam pulleys on these ones, uh, you have your exhaust over here. A whole bunch of holes and a lot of things there, really intimidating if you don't know what's going on there. And then... If you look over here, this side, there's your intake. Now, your intake has these ones at the back. So, that's where your springs slot into there. And the springs look like these. One of those, right? And the important thing to look out for on this, let me just zoom in there quickly, is uh, I've got a little place there, right? Now, that is your oil feed. So, obviously, that uh, oil comes in here, runs through the camshaft, pushes up here. And as the oil pressure picks up, it pushes up a little valve causing your cam to adjust. Now, there are two of these. Uh, one is a little bigger than the other one. Do you have an idea? Uh, that is for, let's do this, is it? That is for your exhaust, that's for your intake. Your exhaust pulley is a lot smaller than what your intake is. And your intake obviously is the main one that basically runs that. So now, uh, this one, going to be going inside there so I'm just going to pause the video quickly and just uh, get that this one on here I'll be needing two hands for that uh, and it's important when you put this thing on you must not use a hammer it must slide on by itself this service needs to be clean and oiled this service inside here needs to be clean and oiled to make sure it slides over smoothly I'm going to do that quickly and I'll carry on with the video okay and then while ensuring that this thing moves freely I just slide it over uh, to make sure that this hole lines up with that one there. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. It should, like I say, not take any force. It should slide in by itself. Freely and effortlessly. Okay, I'll need two hands for this. Let me just move that in a little bit more. Okay, and as you can see, this one can move in freely now. Now, it's important to look over here. And look there. Your springs are going to go inside that there which point you will then push it back into that it's a bit difficult with one hand but it should be done and then uh, it's just going to be going to slide in there so I'm going to see if I can rotate this a little bit more let's just show you guys how it's done properly so anyway so that goes inside there so it's important not to line it up and put that thing in before you put this because it's going to be difficult to get that stuff in I was going to put these springs in then I'll uh, carry on with the video Okay, so when you want to install these springs, uh, when you push it in, it's going to flex in it. You want to have use two hands, one hand pull it out, and the other one bend in so it goes into like that shape, and you just hook it in with your thumb, and then you put it on there. But I will need two hands, and I don't know if anyone to hold the camera for me, so I'm going to have to pause the video, and then I'll carry on when all the springs are in. Okay, all the springs have now been added. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to talk about the front and the back plates on these. Now, these ones are for the intake. I put them off so I don't get confused. But if you need to check, and flip them around. So this is for the back of the front one, this is for the intake, and that's for E for the exhaust. No idea what the A stands for, probably for, I don't know, whatever. Uh, but one thing I want to point out is if you look at the wear marks at the back, you should be able to know how they go in. Now, I believe they're all symmetrical in every way, shape, and form, but I like to put things in just uh, the way it was. So I would look for little imperfections like uh, that over there. Let me just zoom in quickly. Like that, that right there. That's different from the other sides where they're just straight edges. So I'm going to make sure that the wear line there fits properly with the, the sprocket on, on that one. Sorry for the bad shaky quality. Like I said, I don't have a fancy camera. This is a spur of the moment video. Okay, and then your back piece looks like this. 
got your serial on there and that's so this is also a little bit thicker and then the front one's a little bit thinner now you want to make sure that if you put these on there you don't want to slide these in before you put the black one otherwise those springs are going to shoot out i tried that earlier they flung across the room took me half an hour to find everything again so i'm just going to slide this plate up for the back normally it's better to already have it close by you just hold it up put this brackets on and away you go uh, so let me do that quickly okay so that piece has now been connected front's on there i have not tightened these yet and the back's on there spring still inside and i'm going to take this guy uh I'll make sure i get the right one here that's for the intake goes in there all right now this has to move free so you've got to make sure that all the stuff is clean properly and properly oiled slide it in there that one gets a little spring spring looks more or less like this that pushes it down all the way all right now the circlip on this one's a bit busted up so i have to go get another circlip uh, then this one gets another plate on top. I'm not sure if these are directional, don't think so. So then they go on top, then the circle obviously holds that one in place. Now that basically covers you for the intake. Now onto the exhaust. Move that out the way. Exhaust is a little bit easier. I'm just going to put it this way. It's going to be easier to see that way. Now if you look here, you've got a whole lot of holes there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what all of them do. Probably for different models or something. Not too sure. Uh, so also I'm going to be making use of the marking lines on this one. You can kind of see that, you know, from where that's where it was on. And that's what's on. So you're going to have two big holes there. These ones are a little bigger than that one. So then i to make sure that these fit nicely uh, onto that. So uh, basically just lining up the wear marks on that. You should be able to put it back up on there. Run about in, in a position. Just check that the holes can line up properly. So around about, see that one doesn't line up, so there's a hole there, there's a hole there, there's a hole there. So check that uh, even though you might have holes lining up, they might not be the correct holes, so just check for that. And the same, the back plate at the front goes on. Uh, and on the inside, this one does not have any springs on there, it's a straightforward uh, gear. As is. Let's see if I can use my second hand here, no, it's not working. So you can see that's how it moves there. I think they're probably linked together with the uh, timing chain that holds that in place. So that's the assembly of the pulley. And that's that. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. And I will attend to it uh, if I can. But like I say, this is the uh, video that I did just to help out a few people. Oh, and one more thing. I almost forgot about that. This little magnet that I have here. I actually want to show you how that works. So when this pulley and stuff is inside there, so let's say now, but he's stripping this thing out. It's on there. Put the cam in position. All right. Put that guy in there. So now this pin is a bit hard to get out. So a little tip I want to show you guys is uh because obviously you know that's gonna hold it in place. You can't pull this thing off now. Obviously, you know I can now because it's very high up. But uh, normally it would be down all the way inside there. So what I do is I just take a bolt, some of the same one that was on the front here, hook it up to the tip of the magnet, and just like that, stick it in there all the way, and just pull that one out just like that. And the pulley can come off easily by itself, just like that. Okay, there we go. That's the. Uh, Cam sprocket assembly for the W204 M271 Mercedes Benz.